Hey everybody and welcome to another Headway video. In this video we're going to talk about Loop Buddy and the Query Editor. Uh, if you haven't watched uh, how Loop Buddy works with Headway 3.0, I encourage you uh, to go watch that video and then come back uh, here um, unless you want to learn just how to create um, a cool looking uh, query uh, with, with Loop Buddy. Uh, so to get started, make sure that you've got Loop Buddy installed and that it's uh, up to date. And uh, when when you see Loop Buddy down here, uh, you know you're good. Uh, so let's go into the query editor here. And uh, the first thing I want to show is is that uh, Loop Buddy by default gives you some queries uh, to start with. So if you just want to look at uh, say the single post you can kind of get an idea for what it's going. So the query title is single post and the general uh, parameters is kind of uh, the the big information here. So uh, it's going to order by uh, the date published. It's ordering high to low, meaning Z to A. Uh, the post type is post. Uh, the post status is published and it's going to display uh, 10 posts. Uh, it's also enabling uh, paging and comments and uh, it's uh, saying uh, it's it's not going to merge uh, the default query uh, with this one which which basically is um, you could have two queries on a page. Um, the rest of it's kinda just uh, plain Jane uh, here the the page um, post page parameters is use the current post or page ID so it's using that um, and it wants to include or exclude these post IDs that you could put in here uh, there's nothing really set for sticky posts uh, nothing set for categories tags uh, any taxonomy post meta um, or time parameters so uh, what you've got here is basically just a, a query that's going to say give me the most recent um, post and return that out for me. Uh, so like it says you could use this on, on a single page um, content leaf. Uh, then you've got single page uh, basically instead of post it's a page you've got a 404 so if it can't find anything it kinda does a 404 and then you've got an archive query. Uh, so we're going to make our own query though, and I'm just going to call it the home query uh, Just because uh, it sounded like a good name, and we're going to go ahead and edit the query uh, So things that we can do here uh, we can first limit by uh, post author uh, so if you knew the author's um, uh, ID you could put that in here if you need help though you can click assist and this uh, kind of pop-up box appears and it gives you a list of your, your authors so we can select our our author click submit and it's going to put that con uh, that that author ID into the field you can also do order by so you could do date published date modified post ID page ID uh, you could you could order by author um, lots of different options here um, I'm going to go ahead and stick with, with date published though. Uh, and then uh, order, uh, I'm going to do high to low. Uh, post type is going to be post. And I want uh, the post status of, of published. Uh, you could do other ones though if you wanted to do that. Uh, so pretty much I'm keeping it somewhat the same. Uh, but what I want to do is I actually want to go down here to say categories. And I want to say uh, posts that have these categories. So I'm going to go to assist, get the pop up. So it's going to list all of my categories now. And what I'm going to do is I want uh, this query to pull uh, every post uh, that is in this category called bands. So we're going to submit that and you can see that it's, it's going to submit um, that, that category here. Uh, now you could do the same thing with tags too. So if you if you had tags, um, here's my tags. Uh, so I could say every 
every post that is tagged with punk, um, I want that to show up uh, if we wanted to. So I'm just going to leave that blank and just pull up all of our posts uh, that have the category assigned to it. And, uh, and then I'm just going to save the query here. All right, so I've saved the query. And if I want to rename this, I can actually call it um, uh, something else. We could do like home uh, cat instead, or, or home bands. Uh, that way I kind of know what it is. So we'll save the query. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to open up the visual editor. And it doesn't uh, really matter what mode we're in. Uh, so I'm just going to open in grid. And then what I'm going to do here is click on options uh, for the uh, for the the content block. And I'm going to switch the query to home bands. And the layout, I'm going to say use default layout. So we'll click save. And assuming I did this right, uh, we got an error message here, but um, the problem is, let me do this first, I didn't clear out my database before, so uh, there we go. Alright, so you can see that we're not pulling in uh, any content, there's no content here. So if we um, uh, go look at our post, uh, so let's go back to the dashboard a second, go to our posts, uh, the problem is, is we've got categories are uncategorized. So let's do a quick edit. And instead of uh, the uncategorized category, let's use bands. So we'll go ahead and update that. And then if we want to view the site, we can see now that uh, the query is working. And it's giving us uh, all of our posts that are in bands. If we go add another one, uh, so let's just say, let's add this one to bands. We can reload, and we can see that this uh, image post is actually in bands and uncategorized. But because our query is pulling in our bands, uh, it's going to pull in both of them. Uh, so you can kind of see how the query editor works. Uh, now, some other things that you could do, uh, which, which is really cool, is uh, the kind of the taxonomy. And so if we go here to, to assist, we can um, see that we've got category, we've got post tag, and post format. So if you're using, uh, say, post formats, um, you, could, you could get those terms. Uh, we're not using post format, so it doesn't show anything. Uh, but if we wanted to get our categories, so we want to say uh, if it's in our bands category, um, and then we can add another taxonomy so we can say if it's in the category of bands and it's in the let's go to post tag and it's tagged with punk uh, we want it to do something so we can save the query And now what's going to happen is we refresh. It's going to show nothing. And so let's go over here, and we're going to do a quick edit. We're going to add a tag called punk. And we're going to reload. And now it's pulling in the content that is only for bands and only for punk. Uh, so you can see how the query editor handles that type of content and then uh, what you can do is you can you can add all sorts of content blocks on uh, the various pages of your site and then use the query editor to change that up uh, so this is just a, a quick and dirty uh, example of uh, loop buddy's query editor uh, definitely go check out plugin buddy uh, they're going to support uh, loop buddy and, and they're going to have more videos for it but I wanted to show you how you can can quickly use the query editor to make uh, a query and then apply it 
uh, in here to the content block and, and really kind of fine tune your uh, content uh, that gets displayed in that content block. Uh, so the next video I'm going to do is actually going to focus on the layout of uh, your content and, and kind of how that works. So uh, check out uh, that video next. Thanks.